Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. A very quick video on on a topic. Uh, it's it's actually a problem faced by a lot of entrepreneurs and companies who are outsourcing their projects to uh, digital companies or agencies or software houses. And the problem is uh, the project uh, getting delayed for so long. Like I have uh, I have a neighbor, a neighbor neighboring company uh, in. Uh, in the building where we are renting our office and he was uh, Harami and he was telling me that uh, his project was promised to be delivered in a month and it took eight months and still uh, and even after eight months the uh, the project was not ready for the market it was not fit for the market so uh, I wanted to share uh, some thoughts on it like why why do projects uh, get delayed and by uh, by looking at the reasoning, I'm, I'm sure it's not justified, it's not good. But by looking at the causes, uh, we can come to uh, solutions. And uh, that's where I'm aiming to go. So uh, why do projects get delayed? So we have to understand how agencies work. Agencies typically uh, work by getting projects from other companies. And who cannot do it internally either, they don't have time. Uh, I'm talking about companies like you. Uh, so either you don't have time, so you outsource the project to someone, to an agency who has technical talent, and uh, or you'll outsource uh, because, uh, yeah, so yeah, these are the two reasons, time and technical talent. Uh, and uh, and you want to focus on business, right? So, so agencies, they do, uh, that's how they make money. They have the technical expertise and they get projects. Now, what happened is that uh, they're not working on your project alone. Uh, I'm sure you you know that. Uh, even if you feel like okay, you're you're being uh, you're their one of the best clients, it's 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 very logical that they're not the only client they're working with. They're working with other clients as well. And what happens is the client that is making the most noise is actually will actually unfortunately get the work done uh it's not like uh, if a client other client is paying more it does happen that okay another client who is paying more uh they will uh, they will get a bit more high priority it could happen but most of the time what what is the reason why your project might not be getting prioritized is because the client from uh, uh the person from another uh, client company is making more noise they're following up more uh they're they're making uh, it uh, uh they're making uh the agency's life like hell and uh, that's why they're getting the job done unfortunately this is uh what's happening and you being very nice uh you don't want to bother the agency and you don't you you might be afraid that okay uh you you don't want to uh hinder the progress you don't want to affect uh uh the the quality of work and of course uh, you want to focus at, on your work as well so uh, you feel like haram i don't need to go and check with them every time but unfortunately in real world this is what happens uh so my advice to you is uh and of course this is not uh i'm not saying that agencies uh the agencies that are doing this uh, uh they uh, they should do this or they have uh, justification that okay this client is not making following up that much and another one is following up more uh we should give them more priority no this is just a human basic human flaw even inside companies uh if uh, during meetings the person who is making the most noise will actually get more priority from management from uh, from stakeholders and get more approvals all right because they're making more noise uh, this is what happens i tend to not uh not fall into this trap but at the end of the day we are humans and we uh we uh we do mistake we do mistakes yani we we are flawed by our own well, like the they were the way we're made so uh, my advice to you is uh, i don't suggest that okay you go and make their life difficult uh, what you can do is regularly follow up have reminders in your calendar as a client uh, to follow up and it's it, this advice applies on everything if you're working if you don't even have uh, you're not outsourcing a project let's say you have a subordinate in your company 
and you have assigned them a task. Follow up with them, add it in your calendar. You don't have to remember, you don't have to put it in your head. Just put it in the system, put it in your calendar, add a reminder and put that reminder on repeat. You don't have to keep adding those reminders. Like, put that reminder on repeat and uh, I, 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 this, this, if you follow this advice alone, uh, this will really help. Now, uh, you might be saying that, okay, what, why I paid the agency and why I am following up with them. This is, this is not right. Or why should I follow your advice? Now, of course, you should choose an agency in the first place. An agency, by choosing them, you should ask what system, what project management system they're using and what is their typical project uh how how are how, how are they uh, getting work done? All right. So for example, for example, if that agency is using a project management system, give them a score. Okay, and then ask them how are tasks being assigned? Uh, are tasks assigned to each developer or responsible person in uh, in that project management system? Give them a score too. Now, I'm telling you when you're comparing agencies or comparing uh, tech companies, if uh, they're using reminders. Okay, for let's say uh, for the tasks, if yes, okay, all right, I, I would say give them ten points if they're doing that. Okay, and uh, this is typically a job of the project coordinator or project manager, who actually assigns tasks to the team members, to the developers, to the QA engineers, to the design team, and if they're using reminders, uh, it, it automated reminders, this actually uh, gets the work done. Uh, reminders are being sent by email. So yeah, you give them 10, 10 points if the reminders are being used, automatic reminders are being used. And if uh, if those tasks are automatically inserted into calendar, give them, let's say, five more points. So yeah, score them accordingly, like how is their project management uh, architect uh, architecture. And, uh, and then go uh, with the agency with whom you feel that, okay, if you give them your project, uh, since they're using, they, they have a good architecture, project architecture, and also ask them how they managed previous projects. Uh, if they don't mind, ask them for uh, for project templates. Like how, uh, ask them like, okay, how, how does a typical uh, project goes? And I and you will receive, you will receive, uh, 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 what is it called? Uh, objections from, from the agency. Uh, agencies will tell you like you don't need to tell us how do we do our job and you can calmly tell them that okay I want to make sure that if I'm giving you my project I want to make sure that it's managed properly and it's not delayed so uh, this is one and of course uh, speaking with previous clients will help you also uh, so much like as for references so yeah guys uh, this was uh, I tried to uh, this was like a quick advice I tried to finish it in five minutes but it took me more than five minutes and i hope you found any you, you find values in my videos if you do please uh, comment let me know and if you have any questions please do send me a message and i love to make videos i really 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 love to make videos because yeah these videos if if any of my videos can help you in uh i'm not sure if it will help you in your life but yeah projects are part of your life so yeah it, it will help you in your life thank you so much for watching and uh all right yeah looking forward to your comments if uh, if you will and your messages thank you